What's good, y'all? This your girl again. Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a cigarette diaries. Shout out to my brothers and my sisters that came over to visit me today. Chantel and Danielle and Killer KD had a ball. I smoked out with my brothers and I had a good time today. Today was a great Saturday. But um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because some fuckery has been going on and I just wanna been a little bit so if you happen to be under the age of 18 and this video is not for you if you happen to have very expensive ears to swearing or if you're a religious person that only taught your bible on sunday and you can't stand to hear the words like whole cunt fuck shit motherfuck asshole bitch nigga pussy dick crack a faggot dyke this video is not for you because i might be using some of those words anyways like for real this is the time to exit out of this video it's gonna be a little ratchet and shit <laughs> Um, so, I've been talking to this person, no type of title or nothing, it's just a person of interest, you know, and, I'm, let me, let me just say this, I've been talking to him for like a month, not even a full month, yeah, it's not even a full month, and, and, I've been celibate for 10 months, and my goal is to go for a whole year, so I decided not to wait till the actual end of the year to just start lurking. I decided to give myself two months in advance to start getting to know someone and, you know, have a not really platonic relationship, but just a friendship that can return turn into a relationship. You know, because I practice what I preach. I always tell y'all pussy is power and, you know, do the celibacy thing and shit. And I've been doing that, you know, 10 months. Um, I just feel like now I want to start sticking my feet into the dating pool. And so I started talking to this person. And I've also been talking to other people too because it's just talking. Just trying to find someone that can just spark my interest, you know. So, anyways... He knows my situation and he was like, you know, he is very impressed about, you know, my situation and he's intrigued and would like to know more. He's very optimistic of what me and him could have. So, you know, let's just start, you know, going out and seeing what's what. And so, it was nice to hear a person say, let's go out. Because all I've been like, because I always wanted to start dating, but I haven't. Because people that approach me, the only thing they say is, let's chill. Let's smoke and let's chill. They not saying, let's go out. Could I take you out to get to know you? They want to chill. I could chill at my house. I can. I have my own place. I can smoke my own shit and, and turn up in my own shit butt naked. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have to worry about another motherfucker being, you know, fucking all on me. Trying to pressure me into fucking and shit. Because he think that the weed got me that fucked up. No, I don't want to chill. I don't want to do that. That's some shit that kids in the, in the, you know, the high school is still doing. And even colleges is still on that chilling shit. I'm a grown ass motherfucking woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with the chilling shit. You know, I'm with it once we're together, once we gain that, you know, that trust. But we in the beginning, nigga. We ain't even, you know that far in, you know, so no chilling, no chilling, I don't want to fight temptations, and there's plenty of times I try to chill, I try to chill, motherfucker, and the ladies, y'all can agree with me when I say this, when you chill with a motherfucker, you have to make a fucking executive decision at that moment that you didn't even sign up to make before y'all started chilling, you thought it was going to be a chilling thing, but now he want to touch and feel type of shit, and now you got to make a decision on if you're going to fuck this nigga, or if you're going to let this nigga go home, you know, and some of us make the wrong fucking executive decision, but that ain't my business, you feel me? But me... I always have to tell him, you got to go. Uh-uh. No. So I started putting myself in that predicament way back when I was like in my 30s. When I just turned 30, I was on that, yeah, I'm 30. Now I can do, you know, I can like show my grown woman. So I stopped doing that shit. No. No chilling. No. Especially in the beginning of dating. Not even dating. Just getting to know a motherfucker. You don't know me. I don't know you. Why the fuck I'm finna bite you in my shit? That's how bitches get raped. That's how bitches get killed. No. No. So. I've been chilling 
with him outside of my crib. You know, we'll go to like the fucking bar where we shoot pool. I will go to the movies. I actually seen the movie No Good Deeds, which was, which was okay. It was some some parts of that movie I was like, hell no, nah, bitch. I would have did this and I would have did that. Especially if, spoiler alert, I just want to say, especially when it was that part when he killed that cop. She could have ran her ass. He gave her like a 10 minute, not 10 minute, 10 second head start to get in that fucking car and go with her and her kids. But no, she just standing back like, you know, who the fuck wrote that shit? What black bitch you know that can see an opportunity to get the fuck away and just go stand there? Kill me, sir. Kill me. Kidnap me. Here I am. Hell no. That ain't me. But anyways, that's a whole nother story. But I'm sorry if I spoiled it for y'all. But no good deeds gonna fucking like have some of y'all women be like, hell no. Hell no, bitch. You done chose the wrong motherfucking move. For real. But anyways. Anyways. That's how shit happens when you invite people in your house that are strangers and you don't know them motherfuckers. As a woman and you're alone, living by yourself, you don't want nothing to happen to you. You don't want to be on the front of the newspaper. Some of us black women don't make it on the front, you know, but if you're white, you know, you're going to possibly make it. But I'm just saying, some of us don't make it and that's a shame, but I'm just saying, you might end up being on a fucking breaking news or something. Because this motherfucker done killed you. You know, so no, I'm not with that, sh that chilling shit. So, I'm done with that whole rant. Because that, that was just not even called for. But I just wanted to say that some of y'all women, hmm. And I used to be that girl. I used to be that chilling girl. But like I said, I had to, no. And I, I ain't with it no more. I'm to the point to I'm grown for that. Too grown for that. You got to learn from your mistakes. And it's not necessarily saying anything happened. But learn from other motherfuckers' mistakes. Because those movies are surreal sometimes. It lets you think what you should not do. You feel me? Some of these women do shit just like these women don't own the movies. But like I said, that's a whole nother story. Anyways. So, he got pissed, y'all. Let me tell y'all why he got pissed. Okay. He was nice. I mean, he's a nice person. I've been chilling with him and stuff. And, you know, it's always out. Always out. Let me take you this place. And I, I'm not necessarily saying, let's go out. We don't have to spend money. We could go to the park. I'll meet you this place. Um, You know, something like that. But just not to the house yet. So we've been, like, kind of, like, chilling. And so he asked to send me some food. You know, get me some food delivered here. And I had it delivered. Like, I, I'm to the point to where he's cool enough to know my address because he's been I've been chilling with him for like almost a month so he's cool enough to at least know my address even though he hasn't even necessarily been here yet I haven't necessarily invited him yet but I kind of trust him enough I did a background check y'all I just want to let y'all know too y'all better start using these goddamn clerk of course in whatever county that you're in pull up that county's name and then enter clerk of course like I'm in Orange County Orange County clerk of course put in these motherfuckers full name and see what the fuck comes up on their public records on their criminal backgrounds and that'll let you know a lot about these motherfuckers too so don't let what they do fool you because it's a lot of them that are successful out there and you know what I'm saying but still you gotta watch you gotta fucking watch you feel me so you know he sent me some food and I did a video the video that y'all seen he sent me a lot of food I was like damn it's like he calling me fat but you know I'm cool with that and everything but anyways <clears throat> I was um I was telling him, you know, you know, we always had a conversation because he got me to the point to where I'm not even texting no more. I'm to the point to where I'm now getting back to enjoying talking on the phone because I'm a texter. I would text more than I talk and I promise you if I was getting charged by the minute, I wouldn't get charged anything. Because I don't really talk on the phone that much. But lately I've been talking on the phone much and getting back into talking. Because it just, takes just took over. It just seems easier to just send a text out and just, you know, don't have to worry about heavy breathing. And is you sleep? Nah, I ain't sleep. Or you sleep? You know, type of shit like that. You know, I didn't have to worry about that. But now it's getting more enjoyable to really sit down and listen to a person and get personal with you and feel comfortable with you over the phone and that's how we are you know over the phone and like in person 
person. We're comfortable with each other to even, you know, have them meet a few family members and shit. But it's, like I said, it's going slow. It's going snail slow, as a matter of fact. But let me tell you what kind of give me, like, the red fucking flag. And y'all know me with the red flags and I've been through this shit. So, he's telling me things that I know he don't mean. Like, he's overly missing me. All the time, I miss you. And not, not to say that I can I can enjoy a few I miss you's. But to overly do it, you know, and I know you don't mean it. Because if you did, you would be texting me right then and there. If you was thinking about me, you will be texting me right then and there. And let me know that you're thinking about me and stuff. And just say what you mean and mean what you say when we're together. Because it's been times where a person would tell me they love me. And I really held on to that. You know, like how Molly Cyrus was holding on to that wrecking ball with her dear life. I was holding on to that word love with my dear life. And that love meant so much to me. But it didn't mean anything from the person whose mouth it came out of. He did not necessarily deliver that, you know, action-wise. He delivered it verbally. And it wasn't showing me shit. He really didn't love me. So, this person is overly telling me. Th he said he loved me one time. And it's too early for that shit. You can't love me. After not even a full month. Yeah, you can't. Ain't no way you love me. You like me. And the feeling is mutual. But then, don't be telling me things like this. Because I know that you don't mean these. And I know that you're probably telling other girls this. You know, in the beginning of getting to know them too. And they probably mistaked it as, you know, really like you really do love them. And now they're hanging on to that word like I used to be back in the day. So I'm not in that point no more. I grow up. I've been grown up. You feel me? So I know exactly what's a lie and what's the truth. And I'm not going to sit up here and let you lie to me. And I'm definitely not going to lie to you because I've been in a relationship where a nigga tell me after two weeks that he loved me. And I'd be like, oh, okay. And he mad because I'm not telling him I love him back. Even a chick too. They're mad because I'm not telling them that I love them back and I'm like nigga you want me to lie to you why would you want me to lie to you because I don't love you so why the fuck am I finna say the shit you feel me and that's how I feel same thing for him don't tell me this because I know you don't mean it so I've been telling him this quite a few times and tonight he said it again not the love you word but just other things which I'm not going to even get into. And I was like, you don't even mean it. You don't mean that. So why is it coming out of your mouth? You, you don't have to lie to me. You don't have to lie to kick it, Craig. You don't have to tell me these things at all. I have to know for a fact that you, that, you know, if you're going to tell it to me, it has to be genuine. And I have to know that it's genuine in order to intake it correctly. And if you're not letting me know it correctly, and I'm, I'm not going to intake it correctly. So if you're just saying it just to be saying it, I don't want to hear that shit. Don't be lying to me, motherfucker, at all. And this girl out there that be believing these motherfuckers and knowing they lie. Just like if the man say that he was over his friend's house or whatever, and you know that he wasn't with his friends or whatever, but you still with this man, still claiming you love him, Facebook posing on pictures and shit, and trying to live this here perfect life. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to listen to your man and realize that this man is not telling you the truth. You're believing a fib. You need to fucking wake up and realize who in the fuck you're laying up with. And I don't want to be that chick. I don't. So I'm going to avoid that shit. And I'm going to voice my opinion. And he's mad because I'm telling him this. And he's like, you can't tell me how I feel. I know I can't tell you how you feel. I know. But I did. What the fuck? It is a free country. I'm going to tell you that... I don't think that you, you can tell me how you feel, but I'm going to tell you, I, I don't think that you're telling me the truth. I don't think that's the truth. Because if it's the truth, I would feel it. I would feel the power behind it. I would know if it's genuine. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I'm not the type of chick that's going to believe that shit. Not at all. No. I used to be, but that girl is gone. She is dead and gone, y'all. For real. Hold on. <clears throat> I drink my tea. Pause for the cause, y'all. <clears throat> Pause for the calls. Ooh Whew. Hold on. 
So, he got mad. Because this is like un ongoing. I'm telling him, like, we can't communicate when it comes to this the right way. I'm telling him that he don't have to do that. He don't. Because I really don't believe him. So, I dealt with people like this. I dealt with people who feel that they have the need to say things that they think I want to hear. They think I want to hear it, but I don't. And it's a lot of men do that. A lot of women do that too. I'm not going to lie to someone. I'm not going to do that at all just to make them feel good about themselves. If I'm dating somebody who don't feel good, feel good about themselves, I don't want to be with them. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be the one to say something that I don't mean to put a smile on your face. And I don't want you to be that way either. I don't at all. So, uh, I just, I, I don't know. Like I, like I said, these are people, because I'm dating other people too. I'm not really dating. Well, I had been on a date with, you know, two of them. But, you know, it doesn't seem like it'll ever get anywhere. So, it's like people that I'm really considering to just, you know, just leave alone. We can still be cool, but it would never be anything at all. Because that's something I, I don't want. Ever since I've been in sexual relationships since I was 21 with men, I feel like I always listen to them and take their word for things. And even though I don't see them, you know, acting out on those words, I tell myself that one day they're going to mean it. You know, one day it's going to be true. You know, and I don't say anything to them and I just take it as, you know, they're trying. They really, you know, I'm lying to myself about how they feel about me. I can't do that. I've been doing it ever since I've been sexually active at the age of 21. And I just can't do it. Now, I'm, like I said, 10 months into my celibacy and I'm taking a step out to open myself up to start dating. I can't deal with that shit. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's going to be kind of hard to... You know, because I, I do have some bored days that I want to just get out the house. So it's going to be kind of hard to say no that I want to go out or anything. Like go to a park. Like we went to, I remember we went to uh, Lake Eola. And I love Lake Eola. I don't know if y'all know where Lake Eola is in Orlando, Orange County, Florida. <clears throat> because I know it's in Orange County in California. Um, but it's like a lake that has ducks where, you know, two people can get in a duck and paddle the duck across the lake and shit. They have live ducks that you can, some of people, some people feed them, but I think they say you can't feed them, but I never fed the motherfuckers because they'll, they'll run after you and I'm, I don't feel like fighting a duck in a park in public, you feel me? that will be some shit that's, you know, made for world star and stuff, so I'm, I'm not that type of person, but I do like to go to that park to see, you know, the ducks and stuff like that and to even ride a little duck thing, but you know, I've been going out and having fun with people not to just want to chill people, but just with people and stuff. But it's gonna be hard, very hard to find someone because I'm not really hard to please. And I feel like if I communicate good enough to a person to tell them how I feel about things, and you know, if they're not willing to change those things or work on those things, then I can't really fuck with them. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. It's, it's just going to be like living back when I was younger. And I'm not ready for that. I don't, you know, outgrow that. That is the old me. For real. So, anyways, I just want to come in here and talk about that shit, y'all. Um, what else I want to say? Because it was something else I wanted to say that I never got to talk. Oh, this is what I want to talk about. <clears throat> I seen the video of the guy that shot four shots. He was a trooper and, and not killed, but hit a guy that was reaching in his car for his license after the trooper asked him for his license. And he shot this man. He shot at him four times, but one hit him, I heard, in the torso or in the stomach area and shit. I think that's the same thing. And he's doing okay or whatever. 
And now the trooper is on trial and stuff. And not on trial, but he's getting ready to go on trial and stuff. But when that video came out, I was like... I don't know why these people that are supposed to be protecting and serving us feel like they can just pull the trigger on black folks for no apparent reason. Just, just because they're black. And I seen where police officers, this man was holding a gun at civilians and at the police officer and they still didn't shoot him he was a white guy it's in the park y'all need to pull it up he was in the park and a man that was um out you know with his camcorder caught it all on tape had good quality and everything it was so many police officers with their guns drawn to this man and this man is pointing his gun and even at the cameraman and everybody and they still didn't shoot this man they asked this man plenty of times to drop his gun and then they decided to shoot him and shot him like in the leg or something and he was a white man but if it was a black man pull the trigger first and ask questions later and it's crazy that there's people out there thinking that it's not about race i don't get it i really don't are y'all living in the same world we living in i'm like damn open y'all eyes to what is in front of you and no those are not edited tapes that we're watching these are real life live footage tapings that we're watching and it's crazy we're watching people get executed for no apparent reason back from the Troy Davis days I can't believe that they just executed this black man after three not three nine eyewitnesses recanted their statement on his trial they already said that it was some type of uh, you know, the police was telling them to say stuff. It was some type of fishy shit going on on that Troy Davis case. And I can't believe that we witnessed them put this man to death after nine witnesses recanted their statement about this man. They still put him to death. Are we seeing this? We're all living in this world and people are saying that you're always complaining. You're always saying that it's racist and stuff like that. But tell me, what part of this that's going on in America is not racist? Please point it out. Show me what part of it is not racist. And it's not even just black folks either. Because I've seen where the, some Mexican guy... Um, got jumped too if I'm not mistaken he was Mexican. I don't know. I don't I don't know the credentials of that one. Like it's not in the Bible. Don't take my word for it. But it was some guy that got jumped. He was a minority. And it's crazy. It's just so crazy just because of the color of their skin. And the people that's supposed to serve and protect us and we supposed to really put our fucking trust in is killing us. It's crazy. It is crazy, y'all. It's crazy. I guess I, I'm, I, that's all I have to say about that. Because that video was so surreal. Like, it was so eye-opening. Eye-opening. How quick that these police pull the trigger first and ask questions last. Instead of asking questions first and pulling the trigger last. And probably, like, they shouldn't even have to pull the trigger. And if they do, shouldn't they get a kneecap like you did a white man that was pointing a gun at everybody and shit. Y'all gave this man chance after chance to put his handgun down. And he's still just holding that bitch up there every goddamn body. Y'all still ain't shoot this motherfucker yet. But if it was a black man, his ass would have been sprayed out with numerous of bullets in his ass. Not just one in the leg. This your girl. Get to holler at y'all later.